Um, let's talk about reptiles. I like to go, for example, to the UC Botanical Garden, and I see lizards on rocks. They're sunning themselves. They're often doing push-ups. Maybe we could begin with this. Uh, why do lizards do push-ups? And, I mean, is there any way you can tell me what reptile I'm looking at because maybe it's common to the Bay Area? Chances are you're looking at the western fence lizard. Also, that's called the blue belly lizard. If you get a look at the underside, there are bright sky blue scales on the underside and strips along the sides of the lower belly and on the underside of the throat, especially in the males. And if you do push-ups, what you're doing is flashing your blue underside for the benefit of another lizard. And so it's a territorial display. Sometimes when you see one doing push-ups, you can look around and you can see who the push-ups are aimed at. Um, so that often they'll see another lizard. They want to establish some dominance. They'll do a little set of push-ups. And that helps the other lizard appreciate, oh, gosh, you're big. You've got bright blue colors. You're the same species as I am. And I guess you're here. They're very, very territorial lizards. Well, ticks, and some ticks carry Lyme disease. What happens when such a tick latches on to a western fence lizard? When I go hiking around, I'm, I often try to catch western fence lizards and pick them up and look for those ticks. Very often, right behind its head, near its ears, you'll find a whole line of ticks. And on this coast, the ticks that do spread Lyme disease enjoy uh, lizard blood. And so you will often find a number of ticks on lizards, including the ones that cause and spread uh, Lyme disease. Lyme disease is here in California, but the rates of it are significantly lower than on the East Coast. And people who have explored this try to figure out why, and it ends up coming down to the presence of this lizard. The blood of the western fence lizard is poison to the little spirochete that causes Lyme disease. So if I'm a little spirochete, I'm in a tick, if my tick latches onto a lizard, that blood comes in, I'm dead. Interesting. So it'll flush all the spirochetes out of the tick, and then that clean tick now goes on to another host and it's not going to be spreading Lyme disease. So the western fence lizard is a really important host for the ticks here in California. On the east coast there are white-footed mice that are in the same role as sort of the secondary host for those ticks. The spirochetes live perfectly well in white-footed mouse blood. So the fact that we've got all these lizards scurrying around our coast here means that our rates, our levels of Lyme disease are going to be much, much lower. So we've got a lot to be thankful for, for those little lizards.